The next stage is to calculate the whole circle bearing for each of the four lines within the traverse. Referring to the diagram that we've just plotted, we have the whole circle bearing for our first line in the traverse, here being 100 degrees, 30 minutes and 0 seconds. And we have at each of the points or stations within a traverse, we have listed as well the clockwise angle that you would need to rotate around to go from one part of the traverse to the next. Generally, when we're doing this traverse, we're going to start essentially at point A and traverse around in a clockwise direction to get back to our point A. To start off with, we know the bearing of line AB is 130, zero, and we're going to fill those values in on our first set of rows, line AB. 100 degrees, 30 minutes, 0 seconds. That whole circle bearing now follows, follows down onto the next row. The line, next part of the traverse, is line B to D. The previous whole circle bearing carries down. And to that, we're going to add the clockwise angle at point B. So looking at point B, the clockwise angle that you need to rotate around to go on to the next part of the traverse is 269018.12. That value entered in underneath. These two values are then added together in the next part of our calculation. There, add it together, and that gives you 369.30.18.12. Then, referring to the conditions for the forward bearing that we've just calculated, if the forward bearing is less than 180 degrees, then we would add 180 degrees to get the whole circle bearing. If the forward bearing is between 180 and 540, then we take off 180 degrees. Or if the forward bearing is greater than 540, we would take off 540 degrees. In our case, the forward bearing that we've calculated is 369 30 18.12. That falls in the case for the second case, i.e. between 180 and 540. Therefore, we would take off 180 degrees. And that would give us 189.12. Minutes 18.12 seconds. That then becomes a whole circle bearing for line BD. For the next line in the traverse, the process is repeated again. The next line in our traverse, right, B to D, is from D. To C, the angle that we would, would rotate through in a clockwise manner is this value, 269, 44, 53 
like one two fill in the previous and top cell fill in the previous whole circle bearing Add to that the clockwise angle. Here you can see it is the 269, 53.12. We would add these two values together. To give us four fifty nine fifteen eleven point two four. Then looking at this value for the forward bearing, does it fall less than one eighty? No. Is between one eighty and five forty? Yes it is. Therefore, we would take our value for the forward bearing and take off 180 degrees, and that would give us the whole circle bearing for line DC. Two seventy nine. 15, 11.24. For the last line in the traverse, the line from A to C, take the previous whole circle bearing. And add to that the angle that you would need to rotate around at point C to go to the next leg of the traverse, which is this angle, 270, 27, 3.12. Take our two angles, add them together, and that will give us our forward bearing, which is 549 degrees, 42 minutes. 14.36 seconds. Looking at the forward air, forward bearing that we've calculated, is it less 180? No. Is it between 180 and 540? No. Is it greater than 540? Yes. Therefore, we subtract 540 degrees from this forward bearing, and that gives us the whole circle bearing for line A to C. We get a value of 9 degrees, 42 minutes, 14.36 degrees.
that's the bearing for line AC. Then finally, to check that our calculations are correct, we have all four whole circle bearings calculated, but we're going to repeat the process for line AB using the previous whole circle bearing, the 942 14.36 and to that we're going to add the clockwise angle rotation at A which is 270 47 45.62 and if our calculations are correct we should end up with an answer of 130 and 0. Two seventy forty seven forty five point six two That will give us a value of 280. Twenty-nine fifty-nine point nine eight. That is a value when we add them together, that's a value that is between five between one eighty and five forty, therefore we would take off a hundred and eighty degrees. That would give us a forward bearing of one hundred twenty nine point twenty nine. That gives a forward bearing of one hundred twenty nine fifty nine point nine eight. which for all intents and purposes is the same value that we've had to start with. The difference is just due to a rounding error throughout our calculations. Then we can write whole circle bearing for line AB Start equals whole circle bearing for line AB and the two of them check out, therefore check and our angles are valid.